name let me just put app demo then it is it is an app so it is free check this check this and click on create now after you've done this so there are many steps you need to follow you can see set up your app so you click on view tasks so now we have set privacy policy so you only need to provide link so you can check your manager there is a link there where you can use to create a private policy link okay so that's all now after that you move on to the second one we have the app access so app access means you need to choose the second one here and add in instruction then you write login details then you use a uh, any demo account you know in your app you need to create a demo account that will be used by google to access your app so that they can test run and do many other things before they can approve your app okay so you will have created a demo account so let us assume the demo account is this email address and then you need to put your password so any password you like and put and then you check under this place you enter the pin so you put your pin here so just four pins so you put your pin to access that demo account you created okay so the pin we put here is just a demo pin we are just using to do a tutorial so the password here we are just using to do tutorial okay so let me just put so that you understand so you just demo so any password you like you set all right so now you need to check this please and click on save now let me click on that save now once you've saved it you come down here you can see it has been marked it has been cancelled that app access has been cancelled it's because we've not done privacy policy that is why it has not been cancelled you can see in the app access we have mark okay so let us go to ads no ads in our app okay let us go to content written under this one you start content written so you put your email address your own email address let me just put this one and let's choose all other app types so everything you see here just choose no 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 for everything no no for everything you save all right so once you've done that you come down and that's content written so that means we have not concluded it so let us check it again so no 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 i think everything is complete now so save okay so let's try target audience choose 18 and over then you choose no that's all let's check another one we have here news your app is not a news app so you need to choose no now covid19 you choose my app is not publicly available for that so you choose no and uh, data safety so under that under this data safety you need to answer some questions so how do you call data collection and security does your app collect or share any of required user type the user data type okay so let me choose no so app on, now let us see what google writes app users understand how your app collect and share their data so let me choose yes so that we can see what we have there now is all of your day of your user data collected by your app encrypted so we put yes now wh what are the things you requested from your customers i believe you understand this okay so you click on next do you request location from them if no leave it how about personal info if yes choose financial stuff all this is just normal questions and answer so once you've done that you click on save let's move on to government apps you choose no 
okay let's check financial features we we'll put mobile payment and digital wallet after that I click here and click on save okay so now select app category so under here you choose you select edit then we choose business any type you you any category you want to put your app in so i just put business and after that you come to this place tag since it is business we chose here so you need to come here and search for business then you choose it and click on apply so under here email your email address your phone number your website if you have uh, is optional website is optional phone number is optional why email address is a must okay now we are done with everything the next thing to do now is to go to production this is where you upload your app so let us firstly choose country all countries then click on create new release under a choose signing key then you come down here you need to replace this now what is new in your app maybe uh, a place to get cheap data airtime and other thing just normal note okay so you don't need to put anything under release name so click on upload if you click on this upload that means you want to upload your AEB file, which is your uh, app. You know, normally is is APK, but Google does not accept APK anymore. So you need to use AEB file. So you click on upload to use AEB file, and then to get that AEB file, you can contact the uh, customer support so that it can send you your AEB file. You need to send them your email address so that they can generate one for you okay so you can do that yourself so they need to generate it for you so once you've done this you click on next so once you have clicked on next you see the next stage that next stage is very simple you just need to uh, okay let me look for it if I can get it here but that's very difficult to get but now now we just inform you that in the next stage you need to choose no in any option they give you they give you no yes so you need to choose no all right so that is all for uploading and after you've done that once you've chosen no you press back so that you can come back to this place and click on next so when you click on next okay so once you have once you are done with everything you just click on menu and click on publishing overview so scroll down you can see send app for review so the button is not here because i have not concluded the setting up okay so now if you have done that you miss you just need to click on this button send app for review so once you've clicked on that you wait for google to review your app and approve thanks for watching